All right, you guys. Today I'm here to give a little demo to front and center mics. It is a custom wood microphone. I'm going to sit down because I feel like uh, I'm more centered with the camera, but it's a custom wood microphone. Check this out. Really nicely done. And this one has a volume control. You can get them with or without. I'm going to give you a link where you can read more about the types of wood microphones that Scott is building over at Front and Center. It is a, an NOS, new old stock, crystal element. So if you don't know what that means, it means it's the really good crystal elements, the old ones, but it's new, it hasn't been used. It's a new old stock. Um, those, are the, those are the elements that I prefer. One thing that I found in playing with this microphone is that it it has really good feedback resistance. I need to talk to Scott and see if that's intentional. I think there was, there is something that's creating that. I've got my amplifier turned up to like almost five, just below five. This is a 410 basement um, combo amp, so it's a it's a basement uh, kit, a Weber kit. It's got Weber speakers. I've got the microphone all the way on, and it's not feeding back right in front of it. How often is that? Like that happen. Now we're really close because I turned this sucker off, so let me move this back a little bit so it's not shooting right at the microphone there on the camera. Check this this the sound of this out. stock special 20 in the key of A. Uh, here's the key of D. <clears throat> this <clears throat> is a great micro, uh, great harmonica. I'll tell you more about it in a different video. <laughs> microphone is a really nice wood. Again, I'm going to give more description in the video description about the type of wood used on this one, but there's different types of wood that Scott is using to build these. There's the volume control, and you just got the quarter inch jack right there. You plug your, your mic cord right in there, your guitar cord rather. So I just got this today. I was ex so excited about it from the way it sounded and the way it felt. It feels really good in the hand. It's a light microphone. Easy to cup. It's got a narrow uh, circumference, so especially if you don't have giant hands, it's really easy to cup on this. It feels good. It sounds great. And it looks spectacular. Go check these out. If you're looking for a good mic, uh, this is the one. And you know what's cool is that if you even find old, um, like a really good old vintage JT30, which has a crystal element in there, it's you really don't know what you, you might buy for 200 bucks online or something. You don't know what you're getting. You don't know what that crystal has been through. This is NOS, so new old stock. And the crystal, the elements I'm assuming are all in the same condition, which is you kind of know, you know a little bit more about what you're getting. And you get something totally unique. So check them out. Set in front of mics. I think, let me make sure I'm getting the name totally correct here. Um, I, th I know I am. Just wanted to make sure, and now I can't find it, which is okay. If I'm wrong, I'll redo this whole video, but front and center, I'm going to put a link up there where you can check it out. And then I'll do another clip on my amp here in a little bit, tell you more about what I'm playing through exactly, who built it for me, and if you really want something like this, how to get a hold of it, and more about some cool stuff on harmonicas coming up real soon. Thanks.